If you're ever pulling out your motor or your engine, ugh, it's probably not a good sign. I've never had this happen before. Now it has been a while, but can you guys remember when I was taking this thing up to Jake's house, I was driving it up the road. Jake's house is relatively far away when it comes to dirt bike travel and roads and things like that. So before I do tear into this thing, I just want to tell you the background story again, just in case you forgot. I was driving along, the bike was doing relatively well. In the midnight sky. No knocks, no irritations in the engine, no inconsistencies. I pulled in the clutch, I was probably in fourth or fifth gear, and the bike stalled right out. Try to drop the clutch to try to have the back tire spin and bump start me, didn't work. The tire locked as well and skidded out on the gravel. Saying that, it's probably a good thing I was on gravel and not just on really clean pavement. Probably could have destroyed this thing even more. If it wasn't for you, things that you do, I would be away. If it wasn't for you. I'm not excited to see what's in here, but I am excited for this 3D Machines production. Welcome to the vlog. Sit back and relax. Things that you do. my radiator well one of my radiators look at the curve to this I went down to West Virginia with Jake and his family one time and like the first turn on the first trail that we went to I put my bike on its side back tire didn't grab when I gave it a little too much gas and just spun out of control this hit the side caved it in still looks like it's in good shape though <laughs> I'm going to tear the engine out of this bike. I am not going to work around and try to figure out what's going on, whether it's transmission issues, engine issues, piston rod crankshaft issues. I'm just going to take a little bit of my own advice and just tear it all apart, tear everything apart, and then just rebuild it. Otherwise, you're spending all this time trying to save seconds and adding on minutes and hours. You guys know this channel and you guys know what I bring. You don't have to have a dirt bike, a four wheeler, a three wheel, anything off road. You can have a truck, a car, or a bicycle to watch this channel. Like I'm just showing you, if you had a bicycle and say your back tire was screwy, well instead of loosening up the bolts on your tire and just trying to figure out what's going on, just take the whole thing off. Now in that instance, you're probably only gonna add like one minute to the overall time. But in this situation, you save a lot of time just by tearing everything apart. And that's why I have this pile over here. got both the fluids draining. I just want to show you the engine oil that's in this thing. The camera probably won't do it very good, but this is relatively clean. If you watch the edge there, you see how, how clean that is? I'm sure it's only got about 0.5 hours on that oil, which is nothing. So I'm hoping it's transmission problems. But like I said, we're gonna rip it out and destroy it. I mean fix it. link is disgusting. That's all kinds of worn out. This link comes in clutch or is the master when it comes to the chain because you can just pop this off. And this is on bicycles. This is on a lot of things. They have chain. Just take that clip off. So after that one clip then you have this piece right here and as you can see it opens right up. There you go. Chain splits right in half just like that. Now if you have an o-ring chain, that's what I have, you can see there's an o-ring right here and then there's an o-ring on the other side. Make sure when you put your master link back on that you have both o-rings on both sides. I'm getting ready to tear this engine out. I want to ask you something. Now you have to be completely honest with me in the comment section below. 
Did you see this? Right here, this sprocket, it's missing a tooth. I didn't see it and I was even staring at it for a while. But as you can see, all the teeth are twisted forward and this one's completely missing. Did you catch it? If you did, congratulations. If you didn't, well, you're in the same boat as I am. And I got 2020, baby. <laughs> If you're ever pulling out your motor or your engine, ugh, it's probably not a good sign. Not good. Not good at all. Well, I found the problem. And it's not a small problem. Unfortunately, it's a very, very big problem. As you can see, these valleys are supposed to be extremely smooth. And this one is the smoothest out of all four. And it's still shown some wear. That one's terrible. But that one's horrendous. And then even part of the case broke onto the bucket here. No good. Dalton, what are you going to do? I don't know yet. But one thing's for sure. Top ends aren't cheap. That kit right there, all the stuff I need. These parts too. I mean, look at all that wear. Look at all that wear. The whole top end seized up. The piston's free and it kicks over real nice. It's just the top end just seized up. Shot! I don't know how many more times I'm going to say that, but it's, it's just that good. I am currently not fighting against the sunlight that comes through the windows during the day. And the reason for that is it's 9.30 at night. And as you can see, the engine's back in the bike. I bought a new top end, you guys. I got it overnighted, well, overdayed, like during lunchtime, Amazon. No, I'm just kidding. I'm sorry if my jokes are kind of lame. It's, it's late. It's 9.30. It's past my bedtime. I'm not a complete animal. Like some of you are. So let me ask you a question. Are you disappointed in the KX? I know a lot of you guys wanted to see it happen. To see this happen right here on this stand in my garage and start tearing this down and trying to figure out what's going on. Well, I found the problem. The only problem is, is it's an expensive problem. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do yet. What I do know is I'm going to put everything back together. Since I know I have a top end problem, at least I established the problem. Not only is my bike screwed up, but I also screwed up my rack. My stand's already bent. Wah. I want to thank you for tuning into this 3D Machines production. Have a wonderful night. Enjoy it. Answer my questions in the comment section below, please. Totally going to run it in a Supercross or an Enduro Cross or some moto or cross event of some sort. Definitely. The only thing is, is I'll have to go total Fred Flintstone on it. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines. See you later.